should burp. This lady claims that her electric bill has been $100 higher this month than uh, the normal. And I found that second stage heat wasn't working. But uh, you know, we're in Florida. Central Florida, not a lot of usage for heat anyway. There was more to the story. Yes, there was. And it just so happens that I'm hanging out down here where there's more to the story. What's this? Unlucky technician was out here last time at the end of his road. Thanks to this guy right here, no doubt. And I don't want to lie to you. I don't want to be next. I don't want to be next. I got to get out of here. Got to get out of here. Let's go, come on. I'm not going back in this way. I'm gonna cut a hole somewhere else for this duct repair, not gonna lie. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. What's up, pony? What's up, pony boy? Give yourself a clean access point is key to quality service. Take the time. You're going to cut corners. If it costs you too much, come and go. Well, that is more like it. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. I don't think so. <laughs> no way you're staying out there while I'm in here. Get in here. Give me a hand. For me, wearing a mask kind of depends on how wet and dusty and cat poopy under the trailer is. This one isn't that bad, but uh, there was the animal skull. You're probably safer always wearing a mask under a trailer. I mean, trailers are pretty nasty. Am I right? What? Oh, you can't. I said in my. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is line this metal rim with mastic. Next, I'm gonna slide the inner layer of the flex duct right over the mastic here. Okay, before I go a whole lot further, it's important that I point out that, and you probably noticed, this duct work is not rated for under the trailer at all. Uh, this is not weather protected. Over here, the black jacket is uh, rated for outdoor weather uh, so but we're gonna have to repair with what we got today and then uh, quote for an upgrade here it just so happens that I don't carry around a whole load of ductwork with me I'm right. doing the repair right and then I'm sending her a quote to put the proper ductwork under here and uh, actually bring it up to code uh, but today we're making a repair We'll do the repairs right as we can with what we got. The same process over here, going up into the house. Masticking this can be pretty hard, so what I'm gonna do is put my layer of mastic on the inside liner of the duct. That should make things a little easier for me. It's called
called making good use of your hips. Okay, so I'm gonna put, pull this outer layer up above this. First one, Panduit strap, and then tighten it up here. And then you can use this Panduit strap so it doesn't slip down. That's a spider. That's that's just a spider. Okay. All that's left now is to insulate that Y and to uh, strap the ductwork. Keep it off the ground. We actually have a couple spots that are pinched pinch pretty bad because uh, uh, it's not actually strapped as high as it could be so things like this bad boy right here are uh, kinking it when it could be strapped up above that so that's it for here I'm so excited I can't wait to do that closing out a call is everything when it comes to customer service no matter how good of a job you did where they can't see all they care about is how well you put back that rotted out picket fence and metal wire